In this world, nightmares lurk. They hide in our neighborhoods, walk our streets, wear our faces. But they are not us. They're the world's best kept secret, and we are gonna find them. Welcome to Uncanny Valley Cancer Cell. Hello everyone and welcome. This is a Chronicles of Darkness tabletop campaign played in the Hunter the Vigil storyteller system. And today we have a really special Christmas special it's gonna be run. Christmas. Special. Christmas. It's gonna be run by all of your favorite retired storytellers, Stephen Pope. Yay! You make I'm it sound like he's just like <laughs> he's out to yeah. pasture. Yeah. Come on. He never does yeah. this anymore. We got Pope straight from the retirement well, on, on community. On our show, you know, you've you've been given the leeway to just play the game. Well, someone True. else does the work, so it, it, it's it's kind of like being retired because you're we're, still we're, around. You're not dead. I, I yeah, we're whipping out a classic. You're, you're not dead. Thank you for taking time away from your busy bingo schedule. Guys, it's bridge. All right, <laughs> listen. I thought it was canal. Go suck a yule log. <laughs> Yule logs are delicious, thank you. I don't know what a Yule log is, and tonight is the last night of Hanukkah. I want it on record. Oh, have a nice on the last night of Hanukkah. Have you had a good Hanukkah? I've had a good Hanukkah. Thank you. Oh, okay. Yeah, happy Hanukkah, everybody. Happy Hanukkah. (laughs) Happy. happy This is coming way after Hanukkah's over, but sure. Hello, everyone, and welcome to a very uncanny Christmas, as I'm calling it. Yay! Yay! I like that title. (laughs) Get over it, John. (laughs) Get into the holiday spirit, why don't you? Bah humbug. Yeah. As Buckle said, my name is Stephen Pope, and I will be your storyteller for the evening, or whenever you're listening to this. Uh, So, Buckle, you'll be playing with us tonight, right? Yes. So, I'm going to be playing... I always like to pick an NPC from the show... And I'm gonna be playing singer Lutrec, the yes. the hunter, well, the chain smoking hunter from the, the NPD. Biggest of all Grinches. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Which is why I chose her. I think she's the perfect like accessory to a Christmas special because she's such a fucking downer. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, with that out of the way, allow me to set the scene. <clears throat> I actually have this written down. I'm so proud of myself. (gasps) Yay! Yay! The Winger Manor has stood outside Aspen, Colorado for well over a century, and it's very likely that its beautiful architecture and imposing brick will outlive us all. That is where we find ourselves tonight, on an unseasonably cold September evening. You have come here to film another episode of Ghost Adventurers, or Ghost Adventures, what's the name of the show? Paranormal, Paranormal Quest. Quest. Yes. Paranormal Quest. They know the name of the show. Ghost it's, Adventures it's is a real life television <laughs> show. They it involves a real show. My, my oh my god! Dumb. Ghost <laughs> Adventures is a real show, and I'm pretty sure it I involves the, the guy with so the tank bad. top who fights ghosts. Oh god! I'm, yeah, I thought I'm the name sure. was so bad it couldn't be real. No, it's real. It is no, real. It's a real thing. And in fact, I'm pretty sure that the host of that show was the inspiration for Vic. <laughs> <laughs> I, we he can is, talk about good that. to know. He is, he is eight. <laughs> anyway, oh, we're getting off topic already. Please, Stephen, continue. Two oh, hours. I'm used to it. <laughs> yes. The manor has stood since 1873, several years before Colorado was even a state. It has been sitting empty since the death of the owner, Paul Winger, in 1965. It has been kept within the family through a very generous trust that's sole purpose is to keep it standing. When asked why he would spend so much money on a house, he responded, and this is on record, this was given to all of you during the tour and when you were given the pamphlet. Under no uncertain terms should the fucking thing not suffer. Christ. The he house? was a weird man and considered a bit of an eccentric throughout Aspen. Hmm. Yes, he was speaking of the house and he said the fucking thing should not suffer. Yeah. Somebody's been watching House on Haunted Hill. I read the book. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably better. 
Okay. It's, I like them both. So, as the sun begins to set, and you guys set up for B-roll, a soft flurry begins to start outside. You are in the foyer of the manor. It's beautiful brick and French-inspired. Now, uh, Mason, what are you doing? Uh, I imagine we're going to take shots out front before we move inside. All right. What have the notes really said about the house other than what you've covered? Is there anything else I could... So, when you asked about the house, they literally just handed you a printed out Wikipedia article on it. Everything is more or less public knowledge. There's only been four residents of the Winger Manor. That would be Veronica, the widow of uh, Philip Winger, who the house was named after, and her two sons, uh, Joseph and Paul. Joseph died uh, in 1880, uh, Christmas Eve, 1880, and Paul would go on to live to be about 92. The fourth resident of the manor would actually be uh, Joseph's first and only wife, Naomi. Naomi died about four years after moving into the house via suicide. Apart from that, the house is more or less just sat empty. Uh, Paul was considered an eccentric, as stated, and he kept a skeleton crew for a while, but he lived in this three-story uh, brick manor by himself. All right. Mm-hmm. Uh, so the you house do is know... now run by, by the foundation? The trust? Uh, yes. The trust? Okay. It's run by a trust. Mm-hmm. Okay. It has been used a couple times for a couple film shoots and a very short-lived reality TV show called Scared Silly. <laughs> it didn't. There was an accident during production. The host got severely burned along with several contestants, and the show shut down. You can actually still find the scorch marks in the dining room where the fire yeah. happened. Okay. Uh, any particularities on that? Was it uh, the dining room? Yeah. As far as anyone can tell, it was just uh, some wires got crossed and someone wasn't paying attention. A spark happened and something lit and something burst into flames. No okay. one's entirely sure. And the show wasn't exactly worthwhile enough for anyone to investigate. Okay. The other important uh, haunted place, and yes, there are air quotes around the word haunted there, is Joseph's old bedroom. Yeah. It is... After his death, it just remained untouched. So it's basically perpetually Christmas Eve, 1880, in there. Oh, jeez. It's right. a very good shot. All right. Did you say 1880 or 1980? 1880. 1880. Okay. Ooh. Dibs right. on the pop gun. <laughs> Dibs on the really old cookies. <laughs> Oh, no. In those Christmas, those Christmas tins, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, man. All right. Well, uh, taste exactly the same. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you guys know while I was while I was saying that I accidentally wrote Joseph-Bedroom Cookies. <laughs> <laughs> bedroom Cookies. I mean, that sounds delicious. <laughs> yummy, would, yummy I Bedroom eat, uh, Cookies. 150-year-old cookies. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I guess it'd be 130 years old. 130-year-old bedroom cookies. Ugh. Just, mm -hmm. yeah. So, it's a very normal night for you all. You haven't had any real paranormal experiences the whole day you've been filming here. And apart from a light uh, snow outside, it's very quiet this evening. Hey. What are you all doing? Mason. Hmm. Get a shot of me. I want to, I want to, like, I, I want a shot of me by the window looking brooding at the snow. Oh, we've gone inside then? Okay. We're doing B-roll, right? your decision. Hmm? Okay. I didn't know if we had been outside this whole time or not. Oh, no, we're in the foyer. Okay. The foyer. The foyer. The foyer. It's French. Yeah. Foyer. No, no, no. Get out. Like, I, I, need, I, need more, I need more brooding shots in my, in my repertoire. Come on. Is this a phone <laughs> thing or is this a... No, this is, this is, this is like for the show. We're doing B-roll. Oh, okay. And, he's, and so he's just going to like go by the... Uh, go by the window, put his uh, put his uh, chin in the crook of his hand, and just look outside uh, like he's like thinking about ghosts. <laughs> okay, I'm can can, can, can JD pop up from below the window seal outside? Say again. <laughs> yeah, JD wants to pop up from below the window seal outside. 
to <laughs> to startle Vic. Okay, let me do my <laughs> let me do my expression performance. Yes, yes. Yeah, and for the benefit of, of the listeners, yeah. is you have scheduled shots on a show, and then you have other things that they film just to fill in the gaps as like extra whenever they have extra time. So usually it's just made up on the spot using whatever's around is would be rolling. So that's mm-hmm. what they're doing now. Okay, two successes. Not not exactly selling it, but getting it getting it across. All right, and uh, JD, could I get a dexterity and uh, stealth roll from you? Okay. <laughs> Three. Ooh. Okay, so. Vic, you are by the window, and you're brooding, and the snow is falling, and it's very pretty, and you have the, you know, sunset behind you, and then uh, JD just pops out of fucking nowhere. Ah! <laughs> Damn it! I found my, uh, I found my, no, I was just scaring you, I wasn't looking for anything. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, JD. Oh, you so, didn't get that, did you? I'm so glad I got that. <laughs> uh, both of you. I'm sorry. Merry Christmas. <laughs> it's a spooky reaction shot. Nice. <laughs> Give him the thumbs up through the window. I'm going to be at catering. Oh, man. Singer, what are you doing? I'm at catering. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Singer. Hold on. What are you doing here? Shh. She says, dead fan. Dead pan. Deadpan. I'm... I'm incognito, and indeed, uh, she is wearing a white apron with a big metal spoon in her hand, <laughs> and her hair in a hairnet, her short razor black hair in a, in a hairnet, and she's uh, stirring a big pot of scrim. Is it night or day? It's night. It's night. Well, it's, uh, it, it's twilight. The sun's going down. Stirring a big shaving dish of, of uh, tofu, like, like casserole. They always have tofu. At, at catering, I don't know why they, they always do for for veggie folk. Well, yeah, uh, but but it has like meat stuff in it, so uh, like it's what? not. Yeah, I, I could I could talk about film catering for a long time. The okay. point is, she's stirring the tofu. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Do you have anything that's good for keto? She she looks up and down the line and just scoops up the tofu. Good enough. <laughs> <laughs> Onto the plate. That's Thank the sound you. it would make. Singer, um, I okay. What's a higher role for you? Presence and subterfuge, or presence intimidation? Uh, neither. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> no. I'm gonna say intimidation just because, on an emotional level, I think she's better at that. <laughs> okay, why don't you just give me that role then? Okay. Uh. Oh goodness, that's a that's a chance die. Hey, you don't work here. She, I mean, she has high manipulation, but uh, she doesn't have much presence. She's very meek as a person, unless you talk to her. So yeah. Okay, then fail. how about we make it a manipulation? Uh, okay. Intimidation roll then. Oh yeah, she's great at those. <laughs> she can convince you of anything. She just can't look the part. <laughs> That's one. Okay, so everyone was a little confused on Singer's presence today. But no one wanted to ask because they she kind of scared them. <laughs> Isn't that I'd right? It. Sounds right. <laughs> well, frankly, yes. people just appear on set sometimes. Like you just this accept is very true around is supposed but to be there. How long has she been stirring the tofu? Has it been like hours? <laughs> it's, it's essentially pureed tofu at this point. <laughs> well, I mean, dinner showed up like an hour ago, and everyone ate, and now she's like cleaning up. Mm. More stirring. How many cigarette butts have been uh, hidden in food? About That's four. My question. <laughs> <laughs> well, not four, not four. She's got like a little dessert plate, like one of the little yeah. like four inch yeah. plates. It's full of ash with stubbed out cigarettes in it. It's a, oh. a blatant health code <laughs> violation. That is disgusting. <laughs> I love it. It's like a little and monument to <laughs> to lung disease. <laughs> she says. Stonehenge of lung disease. Yes. <laughs> I dig it. There you go. Darla, what are you doing? Um, I think Darla is in the foyer um, doing that sort of, uh, you know, in, in uh, The Sound of Music where she's in the hills and she's singing and she's doing that like spin thing. The Sound of Music? The 
it the sound of music? Yeah. 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 Where it's the, the one where she's in the... The anyway. hills are alive. Yeah, the hills are alive. You know. Yeah. With the sound of music. The sound of music. <laughs> the sound of music. Are you, are, are you thinking of Are you thinking of uh, I'll Never Go Hungry Again? No. God is my witness? No, I'm not thinking about the best well, movie ever I made. Um, <laughs> but no, uh, she's spinning around in the foyer being like, I love this house. I want to live here. <laughs> she's, uh, she's dressed appropriately for the season in a uh, crop top. Um, <laughs> high waisted jeans and a beautiful white fringe jacket. You are fucking freezing, I imagine. It's worth it for fashion. Fair enough. I oh, Darla's Dar- uh, already numb to the world. <laughs> it's true. Hashtag I haven't felt real. feelings since 1996. <laughs> <laughs> I can't feel feelings, not since the accident. <laughs> So, Darla, um, make me an unseen, unseen sense roll. Oh, jeez. Okay. Unseen sense. You mean Eye for the Strange? Yes, uh, Eye for the Strange. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah that is my thing. It's very confusing. <laughs> just, just Don't worry. Up. You'll be rolling it soon. Do you want it just straight up Eye for the Strange? Generally, when I yes, roll please. Eye for the Strange, it involves a cult and investigation as well. Uh, I just want your eye for the strange this time. Okay. Doesn't it feel so good to say that? It does. It feels good for me to say that, because I get to see her put four dice away. Uh, that would be nothing. Straight up. Nada. Okay. While you're spinning around, loving this beautiful mansion that's just classy and elegant... You hear a loud bang from overhead. Uh oh. And you look up just in time to see that the chandelier has seemingly cracked and is sort of swaying back and forth over you. Uh. Almost like something's weighing it down on one side. Obviously, I get the fuck out of Dodge. The Vic <laughs> hits the wall. <laughs> um, with a loud ass scream. All right. Almost like it's punctuated by your scream. It comes crashing down in the center of the foyer. It does not hit you, though, because you did see it, and I'm not going to be a total dick. Is the craft table okay? The craft table is fine. It wasn't underneath the chandelier. <laughs> oh, my Lord, I almost died. <laughs> All right. You hear from the other room, what did I say about doing stunt work without me? I am not a stuntman, JD. <laughs> did well, Mason I... get that? Yeah. Did, yeah, did Mason, Mason, did you get that on camera? I mean, I... that's uh, your decision, John. Yes. Sweet. <laughs> I was just panning, watching Darla goof around in the foyer. Um, so, so yes, yeah, so you caught this beautiful shot of the chandelier just crashing to the ground. Mm-hmm. It shatters into a thousand pieces. There's glass and metal everywhere. Okay. Um, I think she's gonna look around and go, Where is JD? He should not sh- set up a shot like this without telling me. That is unprofessional. Uh, nothing to do with it. Uh, okay. Well, um, I would like to investigate the chandelier then. See if maybe it was rigged. Do you still uh, go for it. Out? Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk up on it and have a look. Maybe kick it around with my foot until I can look at it. Also, I'm not paying for that. (laughs) Uh, Two two successes on investigation. Two two successes. Okay. You step over the shards of glass and metal. This thing, you get closer to it, and you notice... How well do you know masonry, Mason? (laughs) (laughs) Bum, bum, bum! (laughs) It's either apropos or ironic. <laughs> One of the two. More the, silly. The, the family has quite the appreciation for old construction. Uh, I will, that is a perfect answer, actually. <laughs> you know this thing is old as hell. It's older than anything your family owns, actually. Yeah, yeah. Well, at least in your current house, your grandparents' house, another story. Yeah, yeah. But uh, this thing... <laughs> It wasn't rigged to fall, and there's nothing wrong with, like, the chain that was holding it up. It just looked like someone 
it almost gives you the feeling someone was jumping on it. All right. And it just uh, crashed. Uh, well, there's no open hole in the ceiling above me? No. I would like to roll an unseen sense roll to see if Go I can figure it. out if something else is going on. All right. Okay, so that's three successes. And uh, how we've been manifesting that lately is I get like a, a physical sensation or a taste or a smell to associate with whatever the hell this is. Cool, cool. I can work with that. Yep. Um, you get that very pungent, rotting smell just overtake your senses. It, like, invades your nostrils, and you can feel it crawl through your sinuses. And it is just vile. Like like animal rot, or are we talking like, like you know, old books kind of rot? Like someone left some meat out on the counter for three weeks. All right. Is it, uh, is like the crew crew here? You are a skeleton crew. You are basically, you're all that's here. Hey, Vic, Darla. <laughs> uh, Vic's, I, Vic's already on it. Like, he's yeah. there just saying, like, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> I ain't going anywhere near that thing. You're right. It appears that some sort of entity in the house doesn't care for our presence, Darla. It doesn't care for my spiritual well-being. <laughs> or your physical one. Please tell me you both spiked the camera right there. <laughs> <laughs> it's Mason's No, we just like, like we both like like look over at the camera. <laughs> it's like d- I love the idea that Mason just set the camera down and it, it didn't catch <laughs> It's like a whip pan. Like, <sighs> oh, come like, on. Like I was actually investigating that, so probably not. <laughs> like, you probably at some point I was just like, all right, I got my shot. And I set it down. Singers. We got, your, we we got are, some feet. We are on the clock. Come on. And we are on tonight, Mason. Singer walks up with sort of a, a, a wry smile, um, holding a boom mic and like a mixer across her shoulder. <laughs> And she looks I like thought she, was a catering she person. changed out of yeah, her. Yeah, she changed. Has she just it's, been? It's a skeleton crew. <laughs> has she just been like like knocking out crew members and hiding them like Sam Fisher and stealing their outfits? I'm feeling really cold out right now. <laughs> so Stephen actually he said skeleton crew, but what he means is the singer is just everybody. Singer's doing all the rest That's of the what job. I, that's what I heard. It's like it's like in the Netty Professor. You know how Eddie Murphy plays everyone. So, so who are the other employees giving you side eye? Was the singer just looking at herself yeah. like Well, I was thinking this was a full crew, but it was the skeleton crew. She just, anyway. I told you, the it's, it's going to be a night shoot, and you're filming B-roll tonight. Oh, so yeah. anyway, she catches she, sight she of herself walks up in a mirror. with a boom mic, and she looks between all of you, and she goes, okay, so how do we do this? She's like, she's really, really uh, somber, but there's a certain levity to her, her expression that is very unusual. Like, she's kind of excited to go play, like, filmmaker today. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we don't have nearly enough footage, but heads up, it's a live one. Li- well, oh. no shit. Yeah. JD walks into the room. Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> I walk away for, like, ten seconds, and you guys... Wow, that's a lot of damage. Yeah. The ghost really hates me in particular. I mean, that's a nice bit and all, but did you have to make such a mess? Uh, I didn't do this. Did you steal money from this one? I did not <laughs> steal money from this ghost in particular. I haven't even met him or her. Them. Them. Okay. Um, what you guys want to do now? dead people pronouns. So there's... Yeah. there's it's, it's, uh, in the Wikipedia article here, it says we got three stories. Has anybody been downstairs yet? I don't think we should start with the basement. Maybe, you want to go <laughs> up? Maybe we should work our way down. Oh, so let's go for visit. narrative clarity. Let's go look at the room. What's Singer the, uh... puts the mic really close to Darla's mouth. Darla pushes it <laughs> away. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta keep it out of shot. Out oh, of frame. is it further? Just out of frame. Further? Yeah. Okay. It's now like five inches from Darla's yeah. face. Yeah. <laughs> Darla like leans away from it, <laughs> and then she she says, "I usually start with the basement." Uh, Vic is going to want to look up and see if there's any evidence of something else that uh, is just like on the ceiling or at the chain or just 
a- anything that we know that that we can infer other than just like something was on it. Okay. And like like is there is there still traces of whatever was on it? All right, uh, Vic. As you look up, you see uh, you see the hook where the chandelier would be on, and you also see a woman. She's very dead. She wears nothing but a nightgown. Uh, you see a stream of urine coming down her leg, and you see a trail of vomit kind of on the side of her mouth, like sh- something went wrong. And she is hanging from a limp uh, rope. Vic has never seen an Make an integrity roll, before, yeah. so this is uh, this is new and terrifying. <laughs> Uh, okay. Merry Christmas, y'all! Merry Christmas! It's got urine and vomit! <laughs> Does it yeah, your Christmas? I went full dark. Bah humbug. <laughs> oh, dang, I actually did pretty good. Okay, Ooh. four successes. I wasn't sure if Singer had. <laughs> I actually wasn't sure about that. Have we not had a Actually, ha- I do have to ask, has Singer seen a full body apparition? I just rolled a high-low and she has. But okay. I, I wasn't oh. sure. Okay. Well, I, thought, I thought you she were doing something else. She generally fights physical demons. Mm-hmm. You All right. know? So Vic uh, looks up and you just see it. Like it, he rolls four successes, so he's fine. But he's, uh, but he's just kind of like still wide eyed as he's looking up. He's like, guys. Singer whips the microphone really close to Vic's mouth and says, "How do you feel?" Cold. <laughs> Like, as soon as the mic enters his vision, his, his voice changes. Maybe that's what helps you maintain. I'm on. That's what helps you maintain the integrity, right? Is you have to keep character. It, that works for me, yeah. Is that, Can but I, he's still, like, like you see him, like, slowly raise a finger to look upward, and it's sort of shaking. Can uh, I, does anyone else see it? Can I, yeah. can I put her on camera? You Do guys I see? don't see anything. Oh. So I'm looking. The camera's on it. That's a that's a ceiling hole, Vic. That is definitely a ceiling. Is yeah, I mean, it was scary when the, the, the chandelier came down, but it, you don't have to... What's so that look on your face? Only Singer and uh, Vic are seeing anything? Singer didn't see it. Oh. So, so you don't see her. I was just curious if Singer had ever seen a full-body apparition. <laughs> oh, okay. I mean... I mean, uh, refer to a whole house as a, as a she, sure, but I don't know about the ceiling itself. What are we home. seeing? Okay. I uh, not wanting to take his eyes off of the apparition, he doesn't really move. He's just says, "I'm seeing a real life ghost right now." Hmm. And she said, like said, "Sorry." Uh, just like she gets the he he takes the mic and just sort of like pushes it away a little more and just let, and just sort of reconstitutes himself. He says, "I am witnessing a full body apparition. No other member of the crew is able to see it themselves." <laughs> But uh, it appears that she is vomiting, hanging, and uh, what appears to be some sort of wet spot uh, running down the leg. It's uh, truly Vic, horrifying. Give me a wits uh, cult roll, real quick. Wits a cult roll? <coughs> yes, please. Okay. Oh, I get it. It's a bit. Oh, you <laughs> had me going for a minute there. Yeah. Fuck you, guys. Fuck you guys. It's real. One success. <laughs> I can't right. take anything you say um, seriously when you Vic, use this. You are, Vic. You feel something punch you really hard in the chest. It sends you to the ground, sprawling out. Uh, You don't take any damage from it, but you all see it. You don't see a physical thing, but you do see Vic just kind of fall backwards dramatically. So he just just hits the ground? Yep. Is, uh, okay, uh, since he's facing upwards, is is she still there? Oh, she's staring at you now. We have not set up this stun work, Vic. Uh, Vic, uh, cut this shit out. I don't like it. I don't like it either. The mic around and says, how do you feel now? (laughs) (laughs) Like I just got owned. Vic, are you getting owned by ghosts? I'm I'm getting goned. (laughs) I'm sorry. I almost made you snort your Dr. Pepper. (laughs) Again. Would not be the first time. I mean, I'm just glad I wasn't drinking my Diet Coke at the time. Yeah. Yeah. Mercifully. Guys, I am not. I am not joking. There is a, a ghost, and she has eyes on me. Do you need to go outside? Probably, but I'm afraid that if I look away now, we're gonna lose her. Can I try and speak to this ghost? Uh, sure. Go for it. Hey, would that what be <laughs> eye for the strange? You don't believe it's a bit anymore. So, so um, wait. Why don't looking... you give me eye for the strange? Mm-hmm. And uh, what's your highest social skill? Uh, subterfuge. 
<laughs> that doesn't surprise me in any way, shape, or form. Uh, do you have socialize by any chance? Um, socialize, socialize. She I do. To. It's yes. It's just not okay. as high as subterfuge. All right. Give me a socialize and uh, not unseen sense. Eye for the strange. Right. Eye for the strange roll. Uh, JD would like to grope blindly. Where I'm writing this down in my hand. Uh, she's up on the she's ceiling. She's on the ceiling. Oh, she's on the ceiling? Uh, yes. Oh, it's better, not you great, though. You can certainly though. try. That would be one success. <laughs> Roll okay. like shit tonight. All right. Uh, with one success, she is aware of your presence and might talk to you, but you're not entirely sure because you can't see her. Um... I want to say, and make I'm going to sort of cast my glance over my shoulder and make sure Mason is filming. Um, and then I want to, like, shake my head a little bit and then, like, like theatrically sort of put my hands out in front of me. Kind of wave singer in. Yeah. And it, it, <laughs> oh, she's on it. She's super um, into this. Yeah. And then I want to say, I am speaking to the ghost in this house. Nick is still on his back, by the way. <laughs> and I want to ask you why you are terrorizing this man. You hear someone behind you whisper, Which one? Okay. I think Darla takes a second and sort of like her mouth open and it kind of... You see a, a frown sort of twitch at the corner of her mouth as that scares the ever-living shit out of her. Uh, and she goes, the one on the floor. You don't hear anything. But I need you to make a dexterity occult roll real quick. Dexterity, dexterity occult? I don't think I've ever yeah. rolled that. Hi, impact TPK. ghost. TPK. <laughs> this, nice. this is questionable canonicity, so. All I want I for Christmas is a TPK. <laughs> oh, uh, no. oh, it's hard for me to do it for the continuation, but <laughs> I did it. Uh, that would be one success. Okay. With one success, you feel a hand reaching up your back and grabbing a fistful of your hair and yanking. Uh, it only manages to rip out a uh, not so great put in uh, weave, so uh, you don't, I don't wear any that damage, shit. But it hurts. <laughs> Ouch! Really, holy shit! You don't have extension. Uh, no. no, I refuse to believe Darla doesn't do extensions. She bleaches their hair, she but there's no extensions. Really? I keep magic with like a Dolly Parton updo. Okay, never mind. Yeah, but I imagine she started with like gap hair. Yeah, her hair Respect. is naturally not very attractive. Uh, I think she puts <laughs> a lot of work into it. It's curly and it's big. Um, but she she does a whole like hair regiment involved with like making her hair curl in an attractive way. How? Fair enough. Volume is not her problem. Mm. <laughs> So, I, so you yanked. feel a hand just grab a, hand, a fistful of your hair and yank backwards, and it hurts like a motherfucker, but you don't take any damage from it. Ow, holy shit, what the fuck? And all of you see this. You see that hair move upwards. <laughs> Jesus. Guys, I don't, I don't have a very good feeling about this. We should, we should leave. Wait, is this, this is an actual we? ghost thing. Yes. This this is an actual honest to god oh, ghost. Oh shit! I warned you. There was okay. That was the sound of John's dice tower falling. Everyone, did, there's no need to panic. <laughs> yeah, he just stacked. We will like, rebuild. Ten dice on top of each other. I'm panicking. Okay, so what? Do, uh, in this situation, what? Uh, I, this is just like me asking the group. What do we do at this point usually? Because most of the time we're just sort of like trapped in a basement with a werewolf or. You know, the, the chupacabra just locked the bathroom door, and now we're all stuck in there. Stuff we can physically deal with. Um, right. Or, or at least... Uh, like, or, uh, but, like, we have... We're in the foyer. We can bolt right now. Yeah. Yeah, uh, we can leave. leave. I think... I think Do we... you have the gun? <clears throat> oh, that's right. We can shoot the ghost. Uh, okay, so if this takes... Depends on... Let's just say I have the gun. Yeah? 
You fine with that? Uh, I'll allow it. I don't have a problem Does with you Vic have this really depends gun. on when this takes place. And does Singer have her chain whip? <laughs> totally up to I you. Will, I will say anything you would reasonably carry with you, you have. Okay. So the taser if you want it is. your <laughs> if you want your magic sword, your chain I whip. Do. Gonna taser or, the ghost. Taser and ghost. Or a taser. I will allow it for this show. Bringing in it's the new time. year like I brought in the last year. <laughs> the taser. It electrified shit. <laughs> taser and spiritual energy. Wait, will he have the gun when this? Hang on, Steven. Does, J- does Mason... I almost said Jason. Does Mason have Jesus. the gun? Uh, mm-hmm. That is entirely up to John. I don't think I would. So I'm gonna go. Yeah. Through. All right. All right. All right. Cool. But I think that Singer. Look forward has... to the gun later. It's fun. <laughs> <laughs> but Singer does have her normal weapon. Her her chain. Yes, shirt. you have your IV uh, whip cool. thing. Not that I think it will work on ghosts, but you know. <laughs> Super binding. <laughs> so you are inside this foyer with a possibly malevolent spirit. What are you guys going to do? Um. So when the crew dropped us off. Did they leave a car? Or are we just stranded here, or are we? Uh, seeing as how simple this entire production had been so far, and by this entire production I just mean shooting at the Winger Manor. Uh, yeah, you're been you've been basically abandoned here. I mean, you might be able to call an Uber before you know it gets too late. Can It'll we be go expensive. stand in the snow for eight hours and see how that treats us? Yeah. You will die. <laughs> open the front door. Does it open? Uh, yes, it does. Okay. And you are greeted with one of the worst snowstorms you've ever seen in your life, JD. Ah, uh, uh, feels like home. <laughs> Vic's, sitting up, Vic's sitting up is just kind of like, hold on, what's that? Oh, shit. <laughs> Closes the door, has a comical... Beard and mustache from snow. <laughs> <laughs> so I Absolutely. guess ordering an Uber is out of the question. Okay, let's let's get out of the foyer. It seems to like this territory. Um, Vic just like eyes still locked on the ceiling starts crab walking away. <laughs> Isn't there a room that's untouched by all this upstairs? Oh, the bedroom uh, yeah. hasn't been changed <laughs> since. Yeah, let's go there. 130 years. That sounds like yes. it would be that even ghostlier. That sounds like the spookiest place okay, let's to just, go. Let's go somewhere where ghost yes. stinks. Upstairs, there is uh, several rooms. Uh, the aforementioned bedroom of uh, Joseph. Joseph. Yep. Joseph, yes. Sorry, I had to double check. Uh, the aforementioned bedroom of Joseph, where it has basically been untouched since Christmas Eve, uh, 1880. Uh, there was... Uh, Paul and Naomi's uh, shared bedroom and the master bedroom for Veronica and uh, Philip. Philip. Yep. Yes, thank you. <laughs> There's also uh, a room called the prayer room. Oh, we should oh, go there. What? We should go there. Jesus will protect us. The, the, the <laughs> prayer room? Yes. The that prayer would be room terrifying was... in, a non, in a non-haunted house. Yes. Uh, the prayer room, which you all saw earlier in the day, is more or less this, uh, imagine a very tiny church room. Yeah. So, almost like a, uh, quiet space in a airport. Oh, yep. like the Phantom of the Opera. I was just thinking that. <laughs> exactly. So it's just like a little mini chapel. <laughs> it's like a mini chapel. Okay. There's a large cross on one wall, and, uh... Several pews. We should go there. The only ghost that'll be there is the Holy One. <laughs> yeah, your guys' uh, your guys's attempts to avoid ghosts seems to uh, push you directly towards the ghostiest places in the in the whole house. Just just a question: Is is scary hanging woman? Uh, is is she following us? Have you? Well, do you still have your eyes on her? If if I can, yeah. Uh, she hasn't moved, and her mm-hmm. eyes have been following you. Wow, that's a Vic long specifically. Admiration. Yes. Okay, Vic is going to step out. Just like, okay, so yeah, sure, let's head to the prayer room. Is that upstairs or downstairs? It upstairs. would be upstairs. Okay. Uh, the whole time that Vic is going upstairs, he is still going to be looking, but the second he's out of sight, he's going to like pause and then sort of like step back and see if she's still there. 
She is not. Shit. I'm just saying, like, instead of going to this prayer room as he's following everybody, why don't we just go to a very, like, ghost-neutral bathroom? How do you know that the ghosts won't exist in the bathroom? Well, I'm just saying that, like, it seems it seems like a less well, spook place. Well, actually, ghosts are repelled by moving water, so... I the kinda, boom! Is, but haven't you guys ghost seen instincts. The Shining? That, that's the worst ghost in the whole movie. <laughs> oh. Personally, I think we should go to the basement because I face my problems <laughs> head on. But ghost oh, instincts. Nah. Ghost instincts. Mm-hmm. One of us have them. I'm just saying this Jesus guy. will protect us. It'll be fine. <laughs> Darla, I hate to break it to you, but there is no Jesus. He was just a guy that lived and talked and stuff. <laughs> Merry Christmas, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> the true spirit of the season. All your role models are fake. <laughs> You know, I'm just going to pretend that you didn't just say that, and we're just going to go to the prayer room right now. All right. So, Darla, you go stomping up to the prayer room. All right. Um, Are you guys following? Following that ass up the the stairs with the camera. Well, when you say it like that, singer's on board. (laughs) Follow that ass up. As you go upstairs, uh, all the doors are shut as you left them. And... You find the prayer room, and it's at the far end of the hall. Yeah. And it's exactly as you left it. It kind of smells musty and untouched. It's uh, been dusted, but possibly not vacuumed or anything. Um, Darla, you're the only one who I want to make this roll. But <laughs> <laughs> I made this room for you. you. All right, what is it? I want you to roll intelligence. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good luck. Intelligence on. academics. <laughs> <laughs> hot, hot ass. Is that a, is that I a, want is you that to a roll chance a chance die? die. It is, in fact, uh, a chance die. I want die. you to roll with a plus two, though. Oh, did, does she get smarter in this room? <laughs> uh, no, there's just something in here. This room really is. Power of Grace Compelser. This room really is. To hit the books. <laughs> A one. One success. One success. All right. For the four of you, for the remaining four of you, this looks like every church you've ever been to, ever. Except very tiny and clearly made by some disturbed woman in her creepy mansion. Darla, you're the only one who noticed that the cross looks a little bit off. It's still a cross in the, you know, traditional Catholic sense, you know, lowercase t, whole thing. But you also notice that instead of like a sunburst behind it or some sort of flourish, it looks like there's an X behind it. I just like the idea that the Catholics are the only one that used the lowercase t. (laughs) Sorry. Um, But, uh... It's not his faith. Give him a break. <laughs> Sorry. That's why I wanted him to do Christmas. Uh, okay. So this is why I was asked to do this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. This it's is fine. okay. I had Danny bashes at a Jewish community. Yeah. <laughs> I, I literally committed a hate crime at some point. We're, we're both so scared. You did. Uh, so, we did. Yeah. And then we never <laughs> talked about it again. Okay, <laughs> Except so, we keep bringing up the hate crime. <laughs> so also, the other funny thing, Catholics actually put Jesus on the cross. Yeah. And he's ripped. He's ripped. He's not ripped. He's oh, ripped. Oh, usually okay, he Jesus is toned. Good at to least. Know. Full body tone. At least. <laughs> All right, well. That hot carpenter body. Yeah. I hot apologize. Bond. He works wood <laughs> real Jesus, good. Like, like Jesus a traditional a Baptist body. or Protestant church. It is seemingly a normal cross, but there is a weird flourish behind it that doesn't look right. Is it is it like drawn on the walls, or is it extra like wood, uh, part of the cross? It looks like it's made out of bronze. Okay. <laughs> yes. Hey, guys. Hmm. That cross looks real weird. That isn't, I don't think that's a... Definitely not covered in rhinestones. Isn't there supposed to be a Jesus hanging on it? No, that's the Catholics. <laughs> hmm. Um, go have a I look don't at think it. they use that kind of cross normally for there most denominations. You can go pull that cross off the wall and have a look. <laughs> Were they Mormon or something? He's like che- He's like checking the, the Wikipedia. Hey, wasn't there guy, one guy in, in Catholicism that hmm. was, what was that? 
hang on a cross that was an X. Hey, you guys, just in the spirit of things, um, do you guys know if there's a grave around I could desecrate or, you know, just anything like that? <laughs> Sorry, what? Can what? I? Why I'm would just you saying, want to do that? I'm, well, I'm saying we're just, like, messing with stuff. We're walking oh. to the scariest places and messing with things. Well, you know, there's a crematorium downstairs <laughs> if you want to go, like, roll around. I, it something. was sarcastic, singer. Me I'm not too. actually looking. Dude. Man, what and there is, is there actually, actually a, a uh, no, what there, there is a small sleeping? plot for graves on the estate. So. Oh, oh <laughs> okay. Very tasteful. Uh, can I investigate whatever's behind the cross? Maybe, yeah, can maybe I, without go for it. it? Uh, what's investigation? Yeah. Can I give a like a spiritual look at this cross? Like Certainly. reach out with my own heart. <laughs> yeah, go for that. Tree. Three successes. Okay. Uh, let's just see what uh, Deanna rolls real quick. I got one. Move on. All right. You wanted to be just roll straight up I for the strange then, right? Hmm? For, for uh, this campaign. Right then, since you were trying to just kind of feel the <laughs> spiritual energy of right. it all. Yeah, that would have just been the merit. Okay. Uh, John, with one success, you... I got three. Up. He got three. I got oh, one. Oh, three successes. I apologize. I apologize. With three successes, you reach up and you realize this thing is... It's loose, but it's part of the wall. Okay. Oh my god, it's a secret wall. Can I push it? You can't it up take or it off, it but or? you can you as you fiddle with it, you realize you can turn it. Hey guys. <laughs> this is a door or something. Uh are we really gonna do this? You're really gonna do this and I'm gonna put it on camera. Okay, fair enough. Oh wow, my god, is is Jesus related? Can I do it? Yeah, you're gonna have to. You're gonna have to rock paper scissors or flip a coin or something. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Um, JD. Wait, maybe JD could do it. Yep. Actually, no. JD, could I get a survival wits roll from you real quick? <laughs> As he's doing that in the background, roll dead. Can we? Can yeah, we rock yeah. paper scissors in yes. narrative, but like do a roll off? Yeah, sure. Because okay. I'm bad at rock paper scissors. Okay. Two. Two successes. Two from I two. I got a double zero, which All is right. ten. Uh, I right. I got a three, so your call. You you happen to realize that Vic always chooses scissors? Yeah, I know. You know, one of these days you're going to have to choose something else. Yeah? What do you mean? Scissors beats everything. Right. Okay, ready? Ready. <laughs> Wait, what are you planning? <laughs> Nothing. Okay, well, on three. One, one two, two, three. I Shit! You weren't supposed to tell the other person what you do when you play pebble paper. Shh. Shut your goddamn mouth. This is how I win every time. And she marches over to the, uh, the cross. Singer just stares blankly right. at Mason. Yes. I don't know what JD. All right. While I'm this rolling. is all going on, you hear a ticking noise. In the immortal words of acclaimed author Dan Brown. <laughs> <laughs> we should really get out of here. <laughs> uh. Where do you pull the shit from? That was a great line. That was a, oh my I've God. never heard that <laughs> sentence. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> oh, come on. It's all a little bit Da Vinci Code. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm down. I'm down. Okay, so oh, what, what um, but JD is... But JD is... As, as I said, JD is the only one who is hearing this noise. What, 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 where, where is it coming from? You can't tell. It sounds like it's coming from under you. Okay, Darla, you get to turn the cross thingy. Yeah, you volunteered, in fact. Okay, uh, JD's just going to start looking progressively more uncomfortable. Okay, so Mason, you're going to do it from behind, and then I'm going to put my hands on the cross. Okay? Oh. All right. With the camera. With the camera. Mason, she wants you to film her. I feel like you're misunderstanding. Anyway, something. let's 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 do this. I'm not let's misunderstanding this. anything. I'm not sure what. She steps up. Singer, I know stop how it, men gross. are. I know what men think. Okay, and she said, "Do it from behind." So I'm just making it infinitely clear. Okay. So you're also a psychic. Singer. No. Oh my God! Weird. Someone just please fuck with the cross. <laughs> hey, does anybody hear that ticking? <laughs> and as okay. you say that, Darla, <laughs> you turn the cross just a little bit. And I need everyone. Oh, no. Let's see. That's make bad. me a stamina 
Yeah, just a stamina roll. <laughs> Never even touched hey, it. Hey, Siri, stamina. Just stamina. Just stamina. It's your physical just stamina. third stat. That's it? Oh, just stamina. Third physical yeah. stat. Nothing else. Attribute. Oh, I have a... Attribute. Dice tower. Uh, Middle. Oh, um, okay, mine's good. One success. One success? Zero. One. All right. So that is Darlin zero Mason. from Vic, Singer, and JD, and one success from uh, Mason and Darla. Yeah. That is funny. It was it was actually a critical failure for JD as well. Ooh. I don't know if that makes a difference. Uh, <laughs> we'll find out. Oh, a critical failure. Yes. Great. This is going to be some sort of <laughs> terrible shoot, I think. As you turn the thing, suddenly a loud ringing noise just booms from the cross. It is deafening. And for everyone who failed the roll, take the condition deafened. Oh. Yeah, boy! Uh, Fuck us JD. up. Yep. JD, uh, as you critically failed, you also take two lethal damage. Ow. What? Owie, Ow. owie. So he's As like... your ears are literally bleeding. Holy shit. I don't hear the ticking anymore. <laughs> what? <laughs> As whoa, whoa, whoa. the ringing in your ears, JD and Darla, as that subsides, you see the door slide down and you are greeted with a long stairwell that is not on the blueprints and has never been mentioned. Is it going down? House. It's going down. Okay. Vision. What? <laughs> I told you ghost neutral bathroom. What? <laughs> what? So I'm going to get out the uh, med kit that I had to buy because the company never offered to, to purchase one for their employees. Oh, and, absolutely uh, not. No. You are not going to get a med kit. And I'm going to try and at least stem the bleeding for... Okay. Yeah. Uh, give me an intelligence medicine roll real yeah, quick. Yeah, yeah. No negatives because you have the kit. <laughs> Guys, you should be careful. There's a, some stairs over here. What? 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 <laughs> <laughs> I walked into this one. I did this to myself. <laughs> <laughs> one success. One success. Okay, you managed to uh, stop the bleeding. Uh, it will lower one of those levels to bashing. Okay. Okay. I'm being um, generous tonight. Yay! yay, yay. <laughs> for the now. ghosts are gonna fucking eat uh, us alive. <laughs> so, as this. the ring subsides for all of you, uh, Mason and Darla, neither of you, your hearing just comes back. For the rest of you, you will be taking uh, difficulties on any role involving sound. Okay. Okay. Yes. Is there a duration or a way we can clear that? Uh, it is just kind of a time duration thing. Okay. Cool. Yes. So you see this uh, spiral staircase going down way past where the foyer and ground floor would be, probably straight into the basement. Well, what was that about facing your problems head on? I don't think we should film anymore. <laughs> Definitely film me. And then she walks down the uh, hall, the stairway. What'd she right. say? Singer, oh. <laughs> uh, you begin walking down, so you will not make this roll, but I want everyone else to make a Wits Occult roll real fast. <laughs> She'd fail it anyway. <laughs> Where are you, Occult? One, One success, okay. One cool. success for Vic. One success for me. All right. Three successes for Mason. Three for JD. Damn. Damn. Oh. While uh, Singer's walking down the stairs, Mason shouts out, Oh, was that a sex thing? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Uh, Mason, as you got... Not Mason. Uh, JD, you got the highest success. Well, we, we tied. This... We tied. Oh, you both tied. They both got three. Both of... All right, in that case, both of you feel a cold <laughs> chill down your spine. Um... And you feel almost like something's tugging on your pant leg. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kick it. Uh, I look down. I'm still filming. Uh, like I'll try and hold the camera in place, but what, what is, what's down there? You see nothing. Your okay. camera sees a boy about eight years old. Oh. Okay. 
So JD looks down and he sees nothing, right? Uh, yeah, you don't see anything. He's kicking it. Kick the eight-year-old boy. He doesn't know it's an eight-year-old boy. He doesn't know it's a boy uh, ghost. <laughs> yes. He's just kicking blindly. You are kicking blindly, and you are definitely doing that. You are definitely kicking <laughs> at something you can't see and kind of can vaguely feel. Oh, and yeah. he's still holding um, his ears. But it's, it, it's Mason, just so happens to be in Mason if you move the camera, you can see there's almost like a copy of this kid that the leg, that JD's leg is just kind of flailing through on occasion. Okay. Hey, like, I'm gonna, like, point the camera, flip the camera around so you can see what's at my legs. JD, you, actually, anyone from that angle can see there is a eight-year-old tugging on Mason's pant leg. Holy shit. <laughs> Well, JD, you'll stop kicking and you'll point at his leg. What's Singer doing? She's still no, walking. I'm, 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 I don't Singer know. went downstairs. Uh, yeah, and I'm, oh, I can't, can't hear, we, so I don't know any of this is happening. Yes. It, when Vic sees that, he's gonna look at he's gonna look at JD and just hey. give him the absolute just look of shame, just like yeah, kicked an eight year old. Hey, I'm I'm gonna go check on Singer. We can't stay up here. What? All right. Huh? I, I wave goodbye and I I start after them. What? Ah, come Her. on. Okay. Well, don't Singer. leave me here with the deaf people. What? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> All right. The uh, Vic is gonna is gonna move along too, and he just says, "Oh, okay, fine. I guess we're moving down this way. Sorry, I can't hear." Huh? He just like like gives an over exaggerated "let's go" motion. <laughs> Fair enough. Singer. Yes. You reach the bottom of this staircase, and. You aren't really one for pre. Are you actually? I'm curious because I don't know Singer that well. Are you one for appreciating craftsmanship? No. Yeah, you wouldn't <laughs> notice that. But you get to the bottom and you see something that's almost comforting to you. It looks like a lab. Oh, okay. You hear a grinding sound, like uh, old gears starting up. As lights above you flicker on. I need Singer to make an integ integrity roll at a negative three as she sees a oh, no. oh, oh. creature made of what looks like brass and bone and cold iron slumped against the wall. Almost like it's being propped up in a loose uh, marionette pose. The head, though, is what really gets under your skin. It resembles a bird cage, but inside that bird cage, you see a perfectly preserved man's head. Well, this is kind of funny because uh, Singer only has five integrity. Oh, I'll make that roll. So it's two dice. That's what I've got. One success. Oh, okay. man. <sighs> that is a dangerous roll when you're that low on the integrity scale. Yes, it is. Because once you go down to four, you're, you're in some troubled waters. Um, so, yes, yeah, she keeps it together. You keep it together, but you see as this thing wakes up and it stares directly at you. Its eyes completely vacant of life, but it's still moving. It's still alive, despite it defying everything you've ever known and then you get that horrible feeling in your stomach that only comes from seeing something truly atrocious made by man's hands as it rips itself off the wall and starts making its way towards you stumbling over its feet and it is lets out this noise uh <laughs> Darla, Mason, you can hear this. Uh, JD and Vic, you cannot. And it just opens its mouth and it screams at you. I sprint down the <laughs> stairs, but it'll take me a minute. I assume. Alright, how about we get everyone to roll initiative right now, actually? <laughs> well, mm. yeah. Not great. All them deaf peoples. <laughs> but, uh, uh, even the deaf people. But uh, the thing is, Singer's vice is rage. Um, okay. So I think when this thing 
I mean, first of all, it's horrifying. And and second of all, it's aggressive and it's man-made, uh, which she has a lot of feelings about. So when it runs at her and it, it attempts to, I think you said it was trying to grab her or bite her neck or something. Yes, it is trying to strangle you. So when it runs up and tries to strangle her, she doesn't flinch. She doesn't sidestep. She stands exactly where she is and looks it right in the eye and flicks her wrist and gets her, her chain unraveled from her arm and <laughs> and uh, says, uh, the one good thing about my job is I get to rid the world of abominations like you. Come get it. Ooh, I Ooh. like it. Mm. All right. What? So, what is everyone what? else's initiative? <laughs> Twelve. Twelve for Mason. Five. Ooh. Five for Darla. Five. Yeah. I, I I feel a little better about mine. Vic is nine. <laughs> uh, JD is nine eight. for Vic. And JD is eight. I'm kind of okay. hoping it'll be dead by the time that I get down the stairs, but. <laughs> All right. So the Clockwork Man actually got a fifteen on his initiative. So he is going to try to grapple you, Singer. What is your defense? My defense is two. Alrighty. Roll, 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 roll. Alright. Oh, shit. That's another one. It got four successes. So it manages to grapple you. And it will uh, do two bashing to you as it tries to get a hold of your throat. Okay. Singer, it's now your turn. Okay. Sorry, I'm writing down my health. She's got two bashing. All right. Well, she's going to do... She's going to try and break the grapple. Okay. I believe that's a strength brawl roll? Yes. So she's going to make that... (coughs) Uh, she doesn't have much willpower, so I'm not going to use it, even though I mean, she probably needs it. Let's see. Oh, that's okay. Two successes that are both exploding. Two success. Oh, wait, that's a three successes. All right, with three successes, you managed to break its hold on you, and I will let you take one more action. Okay, so her chain whip, and since this is your show... Uh, I'm just going to tell you how I rolled the weapon. You can tell me how it works in this game because I don't know okay. how you balance. So essentially, this is cool. I never get to say this. So her weapon is two <laughs> parts. Um, the chain shirt, Observance, gives her uh, a vision of auras. And the auras uh, change color based on how threatening the person is or the thing is. It's like a mood ring. It's and indeed. it goes from green to yellow to red. And when it's green, her chain whip does bashing. When it's yellow, it does lethal. And when it's red, it does aggravating. All right. Uh, so as it's part of a weapon, I want you to go ahead and make a uh, resolve weapon reroll. Okay. Uh, this is a bonus action just to activate the power on it. Okay. Is that all right? Yeah, that's fine. That's three successes. Okay, great. Uh, you feel your chain whip go from it's kind of like, okay, this is going to hurt, to, yeah, you're in danger, girl. And you see the yellow aura around this thing. Uh, you can now roll a uh, dexterity weaponry roll to attack it. Cool. It has a defense of three, though. Well, she has a roll of six, so that's not the worst. One success. All right. So you managed to uh, hit it, and it stumbles backwards a little bit. Uh, As it's made mostly out of metal, it doesn't seem to take any damage from your lethal attack, but it does seem shocked. And you see it change from yellow to orange to red as spikes begin to grow out of this uh, birdcage head of it. Mason, it's now your turn. Um, I would like to pull back the hammer on the gun that's for willpower. I, I thought you didn't have the gun. You got oh, the gun? Yeah. yeah, you don't have it. Um, <laughs> you want it so bad. Yeah. Who doesn't? It's awesome. It's a yeah, good gun. It is. Um, I'd like to... God, what can I do? 
Um, sprint down the stairs and try and tackle the thing around the legs, like wrap up its legs. Mm. Okay. How about you give me an athletics uh, strength roll? Okay. Two successes. Two successes. Okay. Um, so, it wasn't expecting to see you, and you almost have a moment of... You almost stop when you get to the bottom of the stairs and you see this thing with its rotating birdcage head and metal appendages that are just not right, man. It ain't right. Yeah. But you're fine, and you tackle the fucking thing. So uh, <coughs> you're both prone, but it doesn't get to move now. Okay. So good for you. Yeah. Uh, Vic, it is now your turn. Uh, so from where I am on the spiral staircase, did I see Mason advance? Just like like go out for the tackle? Uh, you saw Mason pull a Batman and just, like, double-time it down the stairs. Okay, Vic, seeing that, knows that, uh, knows that something is up, and he gets his Vitae sword ready. <laughs> and just, uh, okay. and just uh, shouting, still deaf, <laughs> Out of the way! Out of the way! Out of the way! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Did you remember to pull it free from the scabbard? Yes. This, yes, I did this time. <laughs> okay. Uh, thank you for that, by the way. Uh, all right, Vic, but what are you doing apart from screaming out of the way and running down the stairs? Are you going to attack or are you going to... Uh, I'm going to get to the bottom of the stairs and when I see it, uh, I, I assume I don't have to worry about an integrity roll. Not yet. Great. Uh, so he's going to look at it, get massive Bloodborne flashbacks, uh, and then advance on it. The, the birdcage... <laughs> Maybe think about it. I think that made him sigh more than the, the, the black jokes. Vic yeah. is such a nerd. Vic is such Vic a nerd. Vic is a closeted Wait, nerd. It, that's funny that you think Bloodborne, because I was thinking 13 Ghosts. Oh, that's also, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Now, uh, that, that so Vic, seeing it, uh, it just like, is, does anything on this look like it can bleed first? Uh, no. The face? Maybe the face. He's going to, oh, this is going to bat, bite him in the ass so much, but he's going to make a jab specifically for the face. I'm okay. around the leg, so I'm good. Make me a dexterity weaponry roll okay. with a negative five. That's going to be a chance die. Nah, that's a one. That is a one. I knew it would bite me in the ass. I know it's going to bite so, me in the ass, actually. Maybe. Uh, as you come on top of this thing, uh, next to Mason, you jam the sword into the bird cage, and it begins to rotate 360 degrees. Fast. Uh, uh Vic, oh no. You don't have your sword anymore, and Mason, I need you to make a dexterity athletics roll with a negative three, real quick. So now we have, not only is it what it is, it's now, now it's a spinning blade on its head. Yeah, it was already growing spikes, but now you gave it a magical blade that great. can heal itself with blood. Oh, that is great. I did such a good job. I got one success. You did great. One success. You feel the air go right past you, and you are so fucking close you could kiss that blade, but you managed to roll out of the way in time okay. as it hits the concrete and just rotates back, and the thing begins to stand back up. Okay. I had to let go. Gotcha. Yes. Uh... That brings us to JD. Okay, so I assume JD in turn saw Vic rush down the stairs. Yeah, and you hear the sound of metal hitting concrete. Actually, no, you don't hear that because you're fucking dead. <laughs> yeah. uh, what? You don't well, hear shit. I wasn't going to contradict you. <laughs> <laughs> I caught myself. Okay, so he is also going to rush down the stairs. All right. Jarvis uh, just alone, like, guy. <laughs> I love all this deduction that's happening just to get people in combat. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, Darla, you did hear that crash, just so you know. Uh, JD, you come downstairs, and you still can't hear anything above the ringing, but you see this uh, automaton monstrosity spitting around with uh, Vic's sword. Uh, 
Yeah, what do you do? <laughs> you get Vic is like trying to grab at it, just like that. Oh, no, no, oh, oh no, this no. This is that gif from Community where he walks in with pizza and the room's on fire. <laughs> <laughs> A little bit of that. So its head is spinning around. With a sword. With a sword stuck in it. Right, then, well, if mm-hmm. it cuts you, drain your blood and be <laughs> how and fast? Him. How fast is it spinning? Um, right now, it's it almost seems like it's revving up to go faster. Do you, do you yeah. have a Beyblade? <laughs> oh my god, he's a Beyblade. Okay, JD wants to run up and grab the sword as it comes by and then just hold on to it. Holy shit, dude. Oh boy. <laughs> Okay, so pick him up this and is he's going to be, be a strength brawl roll because you're technically grappling it. Yep. And he's going to cut and your you are hand negative, off. Uh, you are at a negative four or a negative five if you want to take no damage from this. Uh, no, I did that. that. <laughs> Reckless abandon right now. Um, but I am going to use a willpower to, to help. Oh, that's that. a good call. I forgot about willpower. Uh, do you want to risk that. any willpower? <clears throat> Um, yeah, I'll risk it. I'll risk that one okay. for the biscuit, and I'll, I'll take uh, I'll take the plus three in th- uh, on a uh, three on for a critical success. John, did you All just right. say risk it for the biscuit? No. Risky for the biscuit. Is that a thing? <laughs> so I'm, I'm, at, a, I'm, at, a, I I'm at a net. Believe that's a thing. I'm yeah. at a net negative one on a strength <laughs> brawl, right? You always start with. You always get at least one die. And you're spending the willpower to get three more, so you will roll four dice. Well, I, I mean, my, my strength brawl is normally a six. Oh, okay. So... Five, I think, right? Yeah, you'll roll five. Yeah. Uh, well, at least two. half the... Two successes? Two successes. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, take another lethal... As you manage to grab the blade, but then you realize, oh, that's right, I'm grabbing sharp things. It hurts well, like a motherfucker, but well, you manage to grab the handle's out there, right? The handle, oh, the is handle would the be out, out, yeah. Is on the outside. Right, but I would, but I did tell you, you would be at a negative five to not take any damage. Okay, that's fine, cool, yeah. <clears throat> All right, so you do manage to grab it, though. You now have the blade. Oh, so it, it comes out? Yes, you managed to grab. You successfully grabbed the blade out of the birdcage head. Yay. Okay, he will then. Can I? Can I toss it to Vic? Thank uh, you. Sure. <laughs> we He's so respect dibs. <laughs> <laughs> In this household, we respect dibs. Oh, God. Yes. Uh, but can we talk Vic, about how JD gonna... is throwing a sword at Vic? Oh no, he's definitely throwing a sword at Vic. Oh, <laughs> oh no, 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 no. So good. Buckle, I'm aware of what's happening. I'm aware. <laughs> this is some I, like razzle dazzle shit. Room, I knew. I saw you smirk. I wanted to make sure the table. Was <laughs> no, aware. no, no. I, uh, I am a hundred percent, absolutely, a but thousand percent aware this could go poorly. How do you feel about <laughs> be, being stabbed a fourth time <laughs> by your own okay. sword? What is it right, keep happening to him? <laughs> You okay. have to take a condition. Right. It's okay. called pin cushion. <laughs> well, it's more noticeable because it hasn't happened to anyone else. <laughs> <laughs> shot with a bunch of arrows and stabbed with his own sword. Okay. Okay. All right. So, from JD, I'm going to need an athletics dexterity roll at a negative three. Okay. From Vic, yeah. I'm going to need a uh, wits athletics roll at a negative three as well wits athletics negative three okay yes i'm real wow i'm being really hard because this is a one shot and i don't give a shit this is okay yeah no this is uh i I actually have dice to use now four successes can uh okay good (laughs) you just reminded me that this is a one shot so it goes i'm gonna right through his chest (laughs) (laughs) this is a this is a one shot and i just remember that so i am gonna burn a i'm gonna risk a willpower okay so that um, gives me back. You're risking for what? Uh, I'm gonna add three dice and do the do nine again. Okay. Okay. Uh, three successes. Holy shit! I know, right? Okay. <laughs> Good job, boys. So, JD, you toss the sword and somehow it rotates in the air and hilt first is heading toward is the hilt's the part you grab, right? 
Yes. Yeah, just want to double check. <laughs> okay. Want to double check. And the hilt comes flying towards you, Vic, and you snatch it out of the air like some Errol Flynn bullshit. I was literally thinking of Errol Flynn. I was literally <laughs> going to say Errol Flynn shit. And Janie, Janie looks over at Vic and he's a little proud. <laughs> the, the, I Vic, mean, aren't we all? <laughs> Vic snatches it up and just looks at us like, I can't believe I did that. Does this sound like Avengers slow motion, like halfway through the movie hero shot shit? <laughs> and then... It pauses when he catches it, and it says, I study the blade. <laughs> <laughs> Later, Chad. <laughs> so, do I have to get out the Chad, uh, non-Chad diagram for this table again? No. It's very funny. No, yeah. Vit, okay, Vit. We Vit. already had a 45-minute PowerPoint presentation. We don't need it again. Can we just condense it to a chatty dice for the one shot? <laughs> no, Vic might be... Vic may be so, like an insufferable prick, but uh, at least Darla, he's not. Uh. Darla, it's now your turn. Well, Darla sees the boys rush down the stairs, and then she just decides <laughs> to keep walking. <laughs> um, um, Darla, before scream. you go downstairs, no, though, it was the thing scream. You hear a voice behind you. It's not the one you heard earlier. It this this not, isn't a malevolent voice. But you do hear behind you, as clear as day, we're not supposed to go down there. Uh, Darla's gonna look over her shoulder. You see nothing. And then she's gonna ask, um, and why that? Okay, if you start conversation with this thing, I will require a roll. Is that okay, right? that's fine. Okay, I need um, I need a presence occult roll. Okay, I can do that. That would be two successes. All right, with two successes, uh, you see a manifestation. It's the eight-year-old, uh, the one that appeared on Mason's camera. And it is full body. You could, you feel like if you reached out, you could touch it. And it mm -hmm. stares up at you and goes, that's where mom takes them. Takes who? She took me there when I died and she took dad there too. What does she do with him? Makes things. Like the thing with, that, oh, sorry. I would like the thing that makes that noise. That's Daddy. Who's Daddy? Is it? Is it Joseph? He nods. That leads us to the top of the order, and the Clockwork Man is going to try to. Let's see, eeny, meeny, miny, Vic. Oh. <laughs> That didn't seem random Vic, what's at your all. Defense? <laughs> okay, bring it on. He has his sword. He's he's ready for anything. That's not yes, your what's your defense? <laughs> My defense is two. <laughs> Sorry, I, I can't talk now. It's a, it's it's a, a very empowered two. <laughs> I've been a snarky storyteller for too long. <laughs> I've Seriously, got my sword, I can problem. do anything. Well, that's not your defense, <laughs> so <laughs> shut the fuck up. I'm sorry. With four successes, Vic, it grabs a hold of it grabs a hold of your wrist and squeezes, and you can hear bones start to pop. Oh. Take three actually, no, take four bashing. Shit, okay. Oh. The and as it grabs That's, your wrist, wow. it starts bringing its head closer as it begins to spin faster and faster and faster. And you notice that it has grown spikes. This thing wants to cut off your hand. Oh. Do I get Singer, a chance? it's now your turn. Do, I don't get a chance to resist? Well, it's, yeah, it's, it's going to be on your turn. turn. Okay. Ready? So. Oh, no. Singer is going to take conscience, the wit, and... Now that she has um, out overpowered this machine once in the grapple, she's going to attempt to wrap the chain around the machine's arm and okay. essentially pull it away. 
Okay, awesome. Uh, hmm. <laughs> that sounds like a dexterity and weapon reroll. That sound fair? Yes, that sounds right to me. Okay. okay. Uh, make it a difficulty of three, though, because you're kind of doing something a little flourishy. Yeah, um, and she's going to risk a willpower for that. Okay. So I'll take the success on, is it nine? <laughs> uh, nine again. Yes. Yeah, so I'll take the nine again roll, and I'll take the um, three extra dice. The three extra dice, yeah. Thank you. Ooh. Okay, so that nine explodes. It's worth it. And it's a success, so three successes. Three successes, okay. Uh, your whip <laughs> comes flying at this thing and wraps around the creature's arm and yanks it away. Vic, it yanks you with it, but it lets go, and you are out of its grapple. Oh, thank God. I needed, I needed also, that hand. It also <laughs> takes, uh, uh, what was your, how many successes did you get? Three. Okay, it also takes uh, three damage from that. Cool. Three? That leaves us to Mason. Three ag, actually, because you said it's red now. Oh, yes, yes. It takes three aggravated damage. And for the first time, you see that your whip is sort of corroding and bending the metal of its arm. Nice. Okay. Mason? Um, is Vic still more or less right right, right next to it? <laughs> uh, Vic is the closest, yes. Um, could I run over to Singer and help her pull it away? Oh. Hmm. Like, grab onto uh, Singer's hips and just, like, pull backwards? Mm. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Oh, and I feel I should clarify, since I was thrown with the same amount of force, <laughs> what do I, do I worry about any of the damage, or just... Uh, she got three successes, so I'm not gonna... I feel like that wouldn't be fair. Okay. You definitely stumble. All right. And you're a little bit away, and you're a little off kilter, but you're fine. Okay. Is that okay? No, that, that works for me. I just wanted to clarify. Cool. Uh, so this sounds a lot like a tactic... Which I don't uh, think we've actually established yet. Yeah, we don't have but any in our campaign no. yet. We have the Hungarian human hug. You haven't bought it. <laughs> it's not However, real. <laughs> all right. It's real so here's me. what I'm going to do. Here's what I'm going to do because I've been reading a lot of Chronicles of Darkness books lately for okay. funsies. Mason, I want you to roll your strength and brawl with a difficulty of two. You have the most uh, <laughs> face I've ever seen on you. Because I think he's going to have to roll a chance I'm going to spend a willpower. <laughs> okay. It's a one shot. Do it up. <laughs> of course I roll three zeros. Ooh. Ooh. That one triple wow. exploded. Whoa. That was a triple, a quadruple explosion. What the, what the fuck? That would be nine successes. What the what fuck? The nine fuck? successes? <laughs> I saw fuck? it. Uh, yeah, no, three it's real. Cool. I believe it. I'm just, wow. He okay. just rolled like three it's zeros a Christmas in a miracle. row. Happy Hanukkah, everyone. <laughs> Happy, Happy Hanukkah. Hanukkah. <laughs> and now we die. All right. Okay. Here's what I'm going to do. <laughs> Are you going to cry? <laughs> A no, man is not no, simply just going to roll I'm just loving the, the irony here that I, I'm pulling on Singer from behind when she was bitching about me checking out ladies from behind earlier. And, how and you got nine successes Uncomfortable she's going to be with he's this. He's really got, good at grabbing Got nine successes asses. to pull on some hands. She's going to be so <laughs> uncomfortable. And I'm re okay, how's this happen? Okay, <clears throat> so, Mason? Yep. I want to do a little character moment for you. Okay. Did you get a lot of hunting training when you were growing up? Um, the woods were the only way to get away from the family, so I spent as much time as I could. Merry Christmas. <laughs> you filthy Fair enough. animal. Um, Singer, you are a trained, experienced hunter, correct? Yes. Okay. So here's, what, here's how I'm going to play this out. Mason, you get over there, and you manage to grab, like, right onto the whip's hilt and around uh, Singer's waist. And the two of you kind of feel this moment of, oh, shit, I've done this before. This is perfect training. And something takes over. And Singer, on your next roll, you will begin as an automatic critical success. 
Yeah. On there. Oh. I was kind of picturing it like the scene from Ghost with the pottery, you know? <laughs> I was thinking that, but a little less sexy. I love my dog. So it's like, Combat okay, so we establish it's like the scene from Ghost, but it's not sexy. It's more just like, click, click. Oh, that's right. We're both experienced hunters. We know how to do this. As you like together, sexily pull <laughs> down the bay. No, not sexily. You're missing no. the point, Dan. No. This is all I might professional. I might ship it. I'll be honest. The platonically pull down your weird clockwork man antagonist. Your, your child right. would yeah. so much yeah. ass, yeah. but he'd be so weird. <laughs> Moving along, yeah. Vic, it's now your turn, you fucking weirdo. Oh, okay. Uh, Vic just like looks at his at his shattered wrist and is just glad that it's still attached to him. Uh, looking uh, looking over the uh, is the creature s- staggered or on the ground? Was it floor? Uh, it has it is it has one leg on the ground and one leg still up. It's at a very awkward angle with its arm outstretched and the. <laughs> Whip is wrapped around it. Gotcha. Sweep the leg, Vicky. You're uh, going to try to sweep the leg? You're going to try to sweep the leg. Okay. Uh, give me a dexterity brawl roll. Okay. Uh, let's see. Dexterity brawl. Oh, no. Okay. Four. And uh, oh, what the hell? I'll use willpower again. All right. Are you just going to use it or are you going to risk another one? Uh, I'm going to just use it. Okay. Okay. That's seven dice. Now the dice have hit the table. I feel obligated to remind everyone that it has a spinning buzzsaw head. It, it, I only got one success. <laughs> Thank you, John. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so with one success, you do manage to sweep a leg, and now both legs have come out from under it. So you've done it. It just had, didn't take any damage from it. Okay. But you do put it in a really awkward, bad position for it. Yep. JD, it is now your turn. Okay, so I was gonna be a hand model, you dick. With it, with it lying on the ground like that, is its head still spinning? Yes. <laughs> okay, where where is that is that arm in relation to its head? Uh, where is the what in relation? Where to its where head? is the arm that they're pulling on in relation to this thing's head? Uh, let's see. It's kind of modeling like, it right now, so everyone can see it. Uh, is it so it's kind of stretched out above it. Yes, like, the arm is stretched like, out, hey, and the hey. other arm is like. <laughs> Not, it's janking around. It doesn't know what to do. So, it's so, very <laughs> off like its balance. Half of its hail in a cab. Is it, is it, is it, is it above <laughs> it or next to it? Uh, it is above it. <laughs> okay. Um, I want to go in, just like, force the arm straight down to where Oof. the bicep would hit its own saw blade. Oh. Spinning around his head. I just oh. want to jam the arm straight down. Okay. All right. I like that. Um, hmm. Now, are you doing this with just brute force? Are you going to kick it? Do you have a weapon? <clears throat> um, I was thinking about jumping on it. <laughs> okay. All right. I, I, I like it. I could play with that. Which is a horrible no, idea. But it's a it's great a idea. It's a horrible idea, but it's a fun idea. No, so go ahead no, and give me dexterity no. athletics. Don't try this at home, It's kids. a JD idea. It is a JD idea. <laughs> <laughs> okay, dex athletics. Which is an a- so, so This guy did outrun a true fae. I'm not going to question so his So why aren't we doing beats uh, for actions or a campaign What is again? it? Because Michael would be ten levels above the rest of you. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, is, what, what is the... Dex athletics, I believe. Death, I want a dex athletics death roll with a negative two. Death. Negative two? Death. Well, I will use a willpower. I will risk it. And nine again and three dice. So okay. minus one total, or yeah, plus one total from the minus two and then the plus three. So yeah. one, nine, 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 Also, seven, Mason eight. would get five extra levels just for his uh, unseen sense, or his unseen sense. <laughs> no, unseen sense. Yep, yep. Just his unseen sense roll speeds would get him like eight levels for free. One, nine, two, nine. <laughs> there. Zero. Come on. Like, that really is the one issue with the beats for experience drop. system. Mm-hmm. I like that it encourages role play, but if you have those kind of five successes moves that you can declare on your own, yeah. like, you just make your own experience. You're printing money. Yeah. <laughs> it prints money. With five successes, that's an exceptional success. Oof. So you jam this rotating spike 
birdcage head into what would be its bicep for, uh, well, that's three lethal. Wow. This thing is still standing, though, but it is sparking and it is starting to smell. Is it figuratively standing or actually standing? I thought we it's knocked it down. Figuratively standing. Yes, it's thank still. You. Vic knocked it off its My legs. My apologies, like, sir. Yes. Uh, it's kind of like in a Princess Leia pose with its arm up and it's just kind of banging into its bicep. Yeah. Banging. <laughs> banging. You know, banging. like Princess Leia does. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Darla. It is now your turn. You are upstairs with the child ghost who told you that this thing might be its dad. Um, what, are you, what are you doing? I'm going to walk into the basement. Um, and since that thing is on the ground, I want to try and use my presence to get it to stand down um so i'd like oh. to go in and say um joseph winger i would like to have a word with you <laughs> what <laughs> can i just I, i'm slow clapping <laughs> I, I, I'm very applauding. nice i'm applauding the what actually <laughs> the most <laughs> badass pacifist that was a good ever <laughs> That was that is some big dick energy. That is a power B D E. Big Darla right. energy. <laughs> big Darla there energy. Go. There you go. So what would you like me to roll for that, Steven? That is definitely a presence roll. I would like to uh, risk willpower as well. Go for it. Uh that would be your presence and I'm gonna say your intimidation. Okay. Yeah. I was hoping for expression, but yeah. Expression it. is more like performance. You're more just like coming down like, I'd like to speak to your manager. Yeah. Oh, My hair Darla. gets shorter and spiked in the back and it's like longer. Darla and would be that in like 20 years. Um, and so I'm going right. to do the uh, the three and then the so nine good. again. Okay. That would be a great shirt. Big Darla energy. Oh, man. Oh, it's so That's garbage. Um, like a coffee mug or something. I only got one. Okay, with one, this thing has a lot of doors and it is keeping him very tight. But with that, you see the head has is slowing. The rotations are, you know, becoming longer. And this scream it's been making this entire time starts to fade. It's now the top of the order. And I'm gonna have it make an integrity roll. Ooh. Mm. You can, can monsters do that? Oh. Yeah. We've if never they're, done that before. If they were once human, then they can be Ooh. horrified by their own existence. Or other. Things. Or other. Well, that's dark. <laughs> oh, <damn. laughs> Merry Christmas! <laughs> All I want for Christmas <laughs> is you. you. Uh, Thanks, Mariah. It slow. It it did. I got two successes on that integrity roll. Oh. The heads lows down entirely and you see this perfectly preserved decapitated head of this bird cage as the spikes slowly start forming back to the bird cage and darla it is staring <laughs> straight into you and its mouth is opening and closing like it's a fish gasping for air and no words or sound is coming out uh. what <laughs> that is its action for the turn. Okay, are we still? Um, are we still? We in are combat? still in combat. Okay, we are still in combat. So, singer, it is now your move. I have an exceptional success <laughs> in the bank. As you I automatically have an exceptional success. I understand. So, I'd like to use that. What singer would like to do? This is actually a tactic that she has. Is she'd like to uh, essentially spin and wrap the whips chain that's connected to the monster around her body until it's cl they're close together and it's tight, like its arm is, is pulled straight up to her. And she's going to hold it like a leash and put her heel on the like edge of the, the birdcage spikes so that it's basically in a submission hold. Okay. Uh, now you are automatically at exceptional success, but I would still like you to roll a weaponry... Uh, actually, roll me a brawl dexterity roll. Okay. 
Okay. Yeah, she's definitely into that femdom shit. Yeah. <laughs> am I getting uh, wrapped yeah, up? Stepping am on. I getting wrapped up in this also? Uh, no. Okay. You won't. Cool. So yeah, that's I one just success. Tug. One success. <laughs> All right. So I was just seeing if it was like going to. I was gonna like scale it up because yeah. it's already an exceptional success. You get exactly what you want. And what happens is you basically pirouette out of there uh away from mason you get this thing in its grapple and you have it in a submission hold and you see its aura going from red back down to yellow and it's kind of this weird yellow green color like it's not sure how dangerous it is anymore okay and do i have time to do a non-aggressive action yes i will allow that okay so then seeing it moving its mouth um uh I love seeing her. Uh, I'd like to stick my hand in its mouth and feel around because I know that a lot of preserved corpses have wadding inside or some kind of filler, like mummification processes, fill in orifices. And she'd like to try okay. and clear the path for it to speak. Buckle, are you fisting our clockwork man? Singer. <laughs> All right. I wouldn't Singer. stick my hand in there. <laughs> uh, you reach your hand through the... Uh, small openings mm -hmm. of the birdcage, and you manage to get your hand into the thing's mouth, and you pull out its dried, decaying tongue. It's basically like a chunk of beef jerky. Ooh. There was nothing else in there, mm -hmm. and it felt completely dry. Okay. Super gross. Yes. Uh, now I need everyone to make an integrity roll, except for Singer. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Right. I, don't, I don't think my integrity is high enough to be bothered by that. <laughs> no, no. I'm glad I rolled those two nines, otherwise I'd be in trouble. Um, I got four successes. Tarla's okay. also not bothered. I am not turned off by jerky. <laughs> Three. Three? Is five good enough? Uh, I don't know. Why don't you give me another roll? All right, hold on. Stop. Stop. It's <laughs> called the time. He just got six I was, that I was time. literally honestly hoping I got another four, four that time. Hold point. on, this one's cocked. <laughs> oh, wait. This is another five. Uh, yeah, five. Twice. All right. <laughs> You're fucking fine. What do you want me to say? This is just <laughs> Thursday for you. All right. I mean, who so, hasn't seen you a jerky tongue? So, yeah. singer, we are out of combat. It has uh, chosen to just relent. So what do you do? Um, I want to I wanna walk a little bit closer to him and say, um, despite getting off on the wrong foot, uh, we are not here to hurt you. We are not like your wife. Um... He blinks at you. That's like a super weird thing to say to a thing. Listen, I had a conversation I... with a ghost boy. Shut up. <laughs> JD will appropriately, like... S singer shrugs. Kind of abashedly, like, back off the entire situation. <laughs> um, I want you to blink yes. Uh, blink once for yes and two for no, okay? It blinks once at you. Great. Um, so, I just want to, like I said, we're not going to hurt you. I want to let you go, but I also don't want you to kill or hurt any of my friends. If we let you go, will you be calm and talk to me a little bit? It blinks once at you. All right, and then I nod towards Singer. What do you want me to do? Let him go. Why would I? Do? Fine. Where, where are we gonna let it go? <laughs> We're just gonna have a little chat. <laughs> go be free gonna... in the woods, <laughs> freaky man. <laughs> Looks directly at camera, but I got an exceptional success. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have cameras. It's an audio medium. I have a camera. So, okay, I'm not I... using it right now, but I have it. Shut up! <laughs> Vic, Vic is just gonna get against the wall and not sheathe the sword. All right, so she 
she kind of uh, steps out of, of her own uh, sort of chain arrangement and gets it off of him. It, it, it's very efficient and quick and hard to describe with words, but it, it's... Yes. Uh, singer, as you let it go, it sort of falls down into a pile. If none of you had seen it work as a humanoid shape, you would think it was just a pile of trash. But it starts to reconstruct itself almost. You notice its motions are jerky, almost like it's uh, missing frames in a stop-motion cartoon or something. It's very clockwork. And it stands up and it's... This is the first time you realize how short this thing actually is. It's barely scraping five feet. And Darla, it does not break eye contact with you. Um... So, I know you're probably in a lot of pain. Um, probably just... It blinks ex- once. Probably just existing probably hurts for you. Uh, and we are here to help you and to help... Um, put the spirits in this house to rest. Um, and we could really use some help figuring out what what is wrong here. Would you help us? It blinks once. Excellent. Um, Are we sure it understands, or is it just blinking? Let's just go with it. <laughs> uh, actually, JD, I want you to give me an empathy wits roll. Okay. <laughs> two with two successes you can tell this thing is capable of understanding enough okay so Darla looks at uh, the clockwork man Joseph I guess <laughs> um and she says, if I get you a pen and a paper, can you write? Um, it looks down at the arm. Uh, Singer, uh, actually, this is a good question. Singer and JD, which arm did you uh, attack? I was, because of the way you gestured on screen, I was picturing the chain around the right arm. Okay. Then yes, right. Yeah. So then the left yeah. arm is the, probably the one that's destroyed. Okay, so it's uh, it's left arm. It looks at its left arm, and it's kind of hanging limp by it. And it looks to its right hand. He very slowly touches his pinky to his thumb, and then his ring finger, middle finger, and index finger. It takes several seconds, but he is capable of opening and closing his hand, and he blinks at you uh, once. Okay. Um, so Darla looks around and is like, hey, does anybody have a pencil and some paper? Uh, yes. <laughs> well, can I use it then? Oh, uh, of course. What do you <laughs> and I pull out the notepad and what a penis. You want a pen or a pencil? Uh, let's let's go with the pen. I can also do a marker. Hold on. I will... <laughs> okay. Well, this is. Do going you have on. a feather and ink? I love. Do you have let's a feather go with the marker. And well, and let's do a marker. In parchment. <laughs> Guys, this is a moment. Uh, Vic, while this conversation is going estate. on, because this conversation is happening, I'm sorry, you said it, it's happening. <laughs> okay, while this is going Vic, on. Vic, yes. I need you to make me a composure occult roll, real quick. Okay, composure occult. That's unusual. That is unusual. Uh, one success. Okay, with one success, while this conversation is going on and you're realizing this thing is about as tall as you and that's breaking up all sorts of issues. Great. Um, you look around this place and it reminds you of Frankenstein's lab. Okay. There is a lot of just clockwork pieces and scraps of metal and some weird black liquid in several jars uh, about six feet off the ground on a shelf. Uh, I want to inspect those jars. Like, if I can't see through the through the dark liquid, I kind of want to 
I want to grab one that's easily accessible and just kind of like turn it, see if I can get an idea of of, of it. All right, go ahead. Uh, give me a wits and science roll as we go back to Darla, Mason, and everyone else. Okay. Did you settle on a writing implement? A marker. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Pull out a marker and some pencil. Or in paper. <laughs> uh, so I, I hand the, the marker and the paper over to Joseph, and I say, um, tell me what happened to you. How did you end up as you are? With its hand gripped around the marker, it writes down in very strained, almost childish handwriting, and it writes the name Philip. And it brings the functioning arm back to its chest and taps a few times. You're Philip? No. It's... It blinks once. Oh. <laughs> oh, I thought you were Joseph. Um... He, he puts his hand down and writes S-O-N. Oh. Your son did you, this to you? Uh, he blinks at you twice. You are the son? You're the son of Philip? It, he, he script, it, it goes off the page and it takes you all a moment to kind of squint and turn your head a little bit, but he writes down the names Paul and Joseph and then he points to the word son. <laughs> Joseph and Paul are your sons. It blink, it blinks once at you, JD, Tell and you. it's very unnerving when it turns its head a hundred and a hundred and eighty degrees to look at you. So you're Philip, Philip Winger. It blinks once. <laughs> so uh, the little boy on the stairs said that your wife did this to you. Is that correct? He blinks once. Now, Vic, I need you to roll me a uh, intelligent science roll, real quick. Uh, I did that, and uh, okay. it was uh, it was a, a chance die. I have zero. And? I have zero training in science. Uh, I got a ten on that chance die. Hey, no additional oh, success, nice. but it was a success nonetheless. Boom. 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 Okay. Um. Now, Vic, you're not a man of science. I am not. You have zero dots in it, in fact. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know shit about it. As we said, yes. Um, however, touching this thing does give you what scientists like to call the heebie-jeebies. Oh, I've heard of that before. <laughs> and when it begins to kind of rumble, and and floating eye sort of seems to form in it and stare at you. Oh no! It's a soul edge. Yeah, what do you do? Uh, that, okay, the way that... Mm, Garrett wants to take the, the, the thing and just put it right back where he found it. This is Vic, though. He is going to, he is going to see the eye jump and drop it. <laughs> all right, so you all turn your heads, uh, this thing quite literally, as Vic <laughs> lets out a shriek. As this black uh, thing spills out over the floor, it sort of looks like it's bubbling black uh, Elmer's glue. It has that consistency to it. Okay. Cool. Gross. What do you need with tar, Vic? I just found it. That thing had an eye in it. Like, he's backing up from it. Vic, can, I'm kind of doing something here. Can you not? Get, uh, if, uh, can you go and sit on your hand somewhere? <laughs> and that's when the black mass starts going towards Philip. Uh, Vic is going to, like, try and, like, step on it like a bug, just trying to stop it. You sure about that? Oh, <laughs> no. This is, this, is, this is a one-shot, so yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> and this is how Vic dies. In the one shot. Okay, yeah, I need a stamina roll from you. So stamina Garrett, make a haunt stamina. roll. <laughs> Bomb. Ooh. Oh, very bad failure. I got a one. I got the big badness. You take four aggravated as it takes your foot. <gasps> like off? Is that an O-F-F off. off. <laughs> You're a one-legged man now. So, it, so in addition to that four bashing that I took, that means I have... I, I'm, I'm unconscious. Uh, you, you... Yeah. Where? Is that bashing damage or lethal? That's, that, that is bashing damage. So that's... For when it hurt his wrist. Yeah, so So that's, you can just fill it in. Uh, let's hold on one. Wait, I can? Yeah, like you, if you're only, okay, so if you have four bashing and then you take lethal, yeah. you just add lethal to the bashing boxes. It, it goes over and not to the side. Oh, okay. So you have to have mm-hmm. full lethal of your whole health bar. I see. Yeah. Okay. Then in, that, then in that case, just like my my wrist is, bro- is, is like broken and my foot is just gone. Did it melt it off yeah. or bite it? Yeah, or? what happened? Did it just like. It looked. Okay, imagine you just put your foot in a wood chipper. Ooh. 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 So it's so it's like one single stop and that stomp, and then it's just like paper shredder all the way up. Yeah. Oh fuck! Vic is on the ground screaming. He like just like his whole face goes pale. It was in a box before. A little glass. Jar. It was in a jar. <laughs> is in a jar. Mm-hmm. Are there any free glass jars around? <laughs> Give me an investigation uh, wits roll real quick. Why does it only happen to me? <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to ask if there's specifically a jar. What is the nearest, like, decently sized object? It could be a book. It could be anything that's near JD. Uh, give me a wits in, Give me a wits investigation roll. I only got one success. Are we investigating? Yeah, I, I'm investigating as well. I got three. Just a moment. JD got a critical failure. <laughs> oh, JD. Uh, I got two successes investigating for something to contain or obstruct this thing. And I got three. So. Okay. So, Mason, Darla, both of you managed to find these... Uh, Darla, you find this glass jar thing. It looks like it was probably a bell jar, but it'll work. It has a base. You'll figure it out later. Uh, Mason, you managed to find a spare jar. A yeah. Mason jar, if you will. Hey. 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 It's not very big. However, We've covered all the, the <laughs> incarnations of the word Mason tonight. So Yes, I'm very proud of myself. JD, <laughs> critical fail, correct? Yes. So... You are, you find this, so there's a table. Yeah, you'll just throw the table on this thing, right? It makes perfect sense. Yes. So you grab this table and you try to move it. And when you do, it bumps into the wall and the glass jars shake and three more fall out. (gasps) I can't afford to lose three more limbs. You don't have that many feet. Wait, there's there's more of these things? Yes. Yes, I told you there were several on a shelf. Um, I'm just gonna shout the word, well, run, <laughs> but... Fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, dump my jar on a table and grab, maybe grab Vic and pull him towards the stairs. Alright. What so if we can persuade them to devour each other? It's my bad, guys. <laughs> uh, I'm going to look at the thing that we've been fighting. Uh, Philip. Flesh Philip. Philip, do you want to die? It blinks once at you very slowly. Okay. We need to run now. <laughs> it blinks at you again. Silver bell. I'm going to help uh, Deanna. Silver or, bells. I'm going to help uh, Darla get... Uh, Vic up the stairs. Just get under the other shoulder and carry him up. I need a tourniquet All right, or with something. Both, with both of you assisting, uh, there will not be any hindrance getting Vic up the stairs. Yeah. Uh, so JD, 
I'm not going to make you roll because that's stupid. That's a waste of a roll. We both know you'll make it. You know it. Hop, hop, I know hop, it. Hop, hop. <laughs> Physically statted character. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just imagining him moving, a, him moving like a Cirque du Soleil floor acrobat, just like hand over heel over hand over heel. <laughs> He's like the fucking guy from Coraline that lives in the fucking... Like, oh, yeah. Uh, the, the gymnast the guy. Creepy Russian dude who's just like... Oh, he just slides bodily into screen. <laughs> All right. Um, does anyone look back? I, I haven't left yet. I'm, are there any doors oh, in this singer. room? Uh, no, not that you can see. So this is a, this is a dead end? Yes. Hmm. Okay. What do the blobs do? Like, are they all... They are all heading towards Philip. I have a speed of 10. I'm just going to wait it out and see what happens. Okay. Merry Christmas, guys. <laughs> um, you watch as these black things begin to stick to Philip, almost like he's a... Almost like the symbiote from Venom. It begins to envelop him, and you see that it doesn't do anything to the metal. And they begin crawling up his body, and he opens his mouth as if to scream, but no noise comes out as these things, all four of them, uh, encompass his entire head and then form their own head. Mm -hmm. And it looks like Philip again. Double fill it. Well, that's good. Uh, Singer is going to hold up the the jerky tongue and go, hey, you want this? <laughs> no. <gasps> he talks now. Oh. Cool, you talk. She drops the jerky tongue on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> its aura is uh, black. Interesting. I should specify that the chain does holy damage. <laughs> Good. <laughs> um, I, uh, I'd like to attack it. Yeah. Go for it. Well, that'll that'll do All somebody. My work. That'll do somebody precisely one spook. I just want to know. I just want to know. Uh, one success. All right. As we are not really in combat, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to have it roll in turn. Okay. And it got five. Okay. It grabs... It grabs your uh, whip and it pulls you towards it. Don't you want to live forever? No, you always say no to that. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to cut back upstairs with the other four members of the uh, Paranormal Quest crew. Ah! It hurts really bad! Okay, listen, I know you just lost your leg, Lieutenant Dan, but shut I the did, fuck up. You? Did you lose a leg? Shh! <laughs> we're going to try and fix you, all right? You guys hear that Vic isn't the only one screaming. He isn't the only one screaming? You hear another... You hear screaming. You hear an argument. Okay. It sounds like it's from a young... It sounds like it's from a uh, relatively young man and an elderly woman. What are they saying? You can't really make it out. It sounds like it's coming from down the hall. Is Vic bleeding? A lot. Okay. Right. Um, well, we don't have time for this. So I, I, I'm feeling lightheaded, guys. All right, all right, Vic, all right, here, all right, here. All right. I'll, give, I'll give you some medicine. Take my hand. Okay. All right. Just, like, takes I take his hand. I wrap it around the hilt of the sword, and I stab myself in the chest. <laughs> uh, <gasps> you so are a fucking mensch. <laughs> Basin. I wish. Basin. Oh, I wish this wasn't in audio format because I wanted people to see my face there. Oh my god! The whole table just stopped, and it was like oh mouths all around. Okay, what do I do? Well, except for me, I was like, aww. Okay. <laughs> uh, 
I'm actually, since you're doing this to yourself, uh, Mason, how much damage are you willing to take yourself? It'll be one lethal each time. Four. What? That'll, oh my gosh. Wow. That'll that'll put me right back at four bashing. Does that fix his foot? That will that will actually fault? fix all the action. Well I will say this. Uh you stab yourself with this thing and you do take four lethal, as you agree to. And Vic, you are in more pain than ever. But you see a boat. It's almost like your foot is growing again. I dare I ask if it's like Deadpool, and I get a little itty bitty <laughs> foot. <laughs> 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 no, a it's a bit no. Uh, is shirt what happens is first you see a bow. You see a bone sticking out of your. Well, you actually can see a couple bones before this, but you see a new bone sticking out of the stump on your leg. And then it's kind of sliding its way out and a full-grown foot is there. But it's all bone. And then you see muscle tissue grow out of the stump and wrap around that bone. And finally, flesh. Okay. Free action um, to throw up? Just, <laughs> just for, I, Yeah, I'm going to need everyone to make an integrity roll here. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and say that just for flavor. You guys ever seen that video of Coyote Peterson getting the getting the cactus taken out of his arm? No. no. I don't I'll, even know no. who Coyote Peterson is. I don't Peterson watch is. that shit. I'll show, I'll, I'll show you guys later. <laughs> it's, but no, it, it, he just, he doesn't, when it's getting taken out, he doesn't scream. He just goes. Who's Coyote Peterson? He's the new Steve Irwin. Oh. Oh. Good to know, I guess. A good name to be. <laughs> it's good that he's named Coyote. I know, right? Uh, that has to be a uh, two. That would be one success for me. Uh, Vic is taking this surprisingly well. Wow, that noise took it right out of my throat. Four. <laughs> uh, Vic, four successes. Vic is surprisingly chill. Uh, more shock. All right. right. Yeah. Uh, Vic, as you gingerly step on this new foot and you're kind of just making that screeching noise uh you can hear the arguments and it sounds like the argument is coming closer to you and all you can make out what they're saying this heated just I knew I should have just killed you when I had the chance. You would never kill your own mother. I don't care. You're a fucking monster. Well, they're your responsibility now, boy. Uh. And the door of this chapel flies open, and there's no one there. And downstairs, uh, Singer, I need you to roll me Wit Survival. <laughs> that is Singer's best roll. Ooh. Ooh. Hell yeah. And she's going to risk a willpower for um, success or nine agains and for the three extra die. Do you need extra die? No. I have to, she's, she's got an NPC sheet. It's pretty basic. <laughs> they don't get over <laughs> six to eight for the most part. She, shit, she actually did not get any successes. Whoa. Off of a, what? Three, like six, nine dice roll. No way. She wow. got no successes. Wow. And you, did you uh, risk yes. willpower? Yeah. I did. And no successes. That is a critical failure. But I want to say when we cut back into the scene, whatever's about to happen. I want you to play out. I will tell you when what happens happens. So she, what, what well, happens? She, when he says, don't you want to live forever? She says, well, I'm not opposed. And when you say, I'm not opposed, it opens its mouth and the black ichor starts flowing out down its chest and kind of wraps itself around your hand gently. <laughs> it feels wrong on every imaginable level. Darla, upstairs, you have a very horrific, horrific memory. It just kind of snaps back to you real quick. When you talked to the ghost boy, it said, Daddy, it mentioned its father, and it mentioned itself down there. And, Singer, that's when this creature, this 
bird cage with a child's head and spider legs sticking out of it just stabs you in the back. You feel it pierce the muscle tissue as it is clinging to you with this black ichor slowly coming up you. Do I get a, a, mo a move? I mean, I know I, I crit failed. You can make a move. You can make a move. All right. <laughs> so does that do damage? How much? Uh, it will do two lethal. Two Jesus. Lethal. Okay. <clears throat> That's how much health I have right now. No, I have three. I'm assuming at this point we, we've significantly noticed that Singer isn't with us. Uh, you all mm -hmm. notice Singer isn't with you, and upstairs, the fight... Once that door opened, and Darla, once you remembered that that little boy ghost mentioned that he was down there too, the fight is literally all around you. You hear it a hundred times over. It seems like it. what happened here, this argument happened many times. Singer, what do you do? So, um, upon recognizing, upon finding the little boy, which... She was listening through this conversation about the family, and her question was, where is the little boy? Which is why she stayed down there. So when, mm. when she feels that presence, she sort of says to herself, there you are. And then she's actually going to push herself further back on the, the blade and swing her whip around behind her and try to Ooh. catch the other side. <laughs> and basically nice. grapple it. So that it can't attack. Okay, her. I will allow you to do this, but you will take one more lethal. That's fine. Uh, JD's gonna start going down the stairs because she thinks that this, the that her best chance is to not get stabbed again. So she'd rather take one lethal and hold it there than to try and get away. So and, all right, J JD's also gonna do so fairly carefully at first because he doesn't want to step in any goo. Ghost goo. <laughs> all right. Three successes. Yeah. With three successes, uh, you crash into the wall. You bring uh, Philip and uh, Joseph with you. Joseph, uh, this spider birdcage thing, slams into it and it lets out a shriek. And you pull Philip along with all the black ichor towards you. Uh Vic, I need you to make a, uh, a actually, I am going to ask you to do this, athletics dexterity roll with a negative four. Athletics dexterity roll with a negative four. Okay. Uh, He's asking yeah. you to hold Oh, no, sorry, not Vic. JD, JD, I'm oh, sorry. Okay, yeah. I was, okay. I was, because JD was the was one like, what, is trying to make an escape. Through the, uh, through the ceiling, what's up? Two. With two successes, uh, you come running down, you make your way gently down the stairs, and it's safe and sound from what you can tell. You still hear the arguments of the dead all around you, and above you, you see the chandelier. And you also see a, the dead woman, the one that Vic saw earlier, and she is staring at you, and she is talking, and her voice just muffles with the rest of this noise. Uh, what do you do? Just wait, what wait, is everyone so... doing at this point, actually? I, were you going back downstairs for Singer? Yes. I didn't think he was going back into Oh, the I thought foyer. you were going downstairs to the foyer. No, I was going back to the basement. Where okay. Where Singer's at. Uh, Alright, so, sorry about that. So you head down the stairs to the basement where Singer is, and you see Singer uh, being attacked by the Black Icker and the spider monster along with Philip. And it's what is everyone else doing? Uh, if Mason's bleeding out, he's going to take bandages and wrap his chest nice and tight so that he can be useful later. Yeah, I'm going to try and assist Mason in um, bandaging himself. All right, I want both of you to give me a medicine intelligence check with a minus three. Minus three? Yes. <laughs> uh, that is a critical failure for me. I did not succeed. All right. As the fighting comes to 
it is roaring around you and you feel like a wind is being picked up but it's coming from every direction at once darla your hair is going everywhere and it's not going to look cute later yeah no, you spill with a critical failure you spill uh the rubbing alcohol that uh Mason had and Mason you're trying to bandage yourself up but it's so hard it is so loud in here Vic what are you doing uh Vic is going to be doing his best to assist uh Mason in bandaging himself up okay same role uh intelligence medicine minus three is he still deaf huh is is Vic still deaf uh I'm going to go ahead and say yes, so that does make it a minus two. Okay. That's fair. So it, so it's a, uh, give me the check one more time. Intelligence medicine. Uh, okay. Medicine, yes, minus two. Intelligence medicine minus two. <laughs> it's a chance die. So willpower. Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to risk a willpower, make it, uh, make it three and nine again. Uh, wow, one success. <laughs> All right. Uh, you have stopped the bleeding. Yay. Somehow. We stopped the bleeding. Merry Christmas, everybody. <laughs> we stopped the bleeding. <laughs> All right, singer, what are you doing? Can I hold my action? I want to see what the the other, what the creatures do. Okay. Uh, you hold your action as you see the uh, you feel the other creature trying to pull itself out of your back but it's stuck between a rock and a hard place literally and is unable to uh philip continues to vomit this black excess goo and it is crawling up your arm and you feel a lot of burning Mm -hmm. it is an excruciating exquisite pain what do you do? Um, all right. So Hmm. So, I'm going to try and talk to the goo. <laughs> Okay. I'm, I'm going to submit that to, to my gaming group said what? I'm going to try and talk to the goo. Um, All right. What, is... what are you going to say? Uh, I'm going to say... What am I going to say? What do I know about this thing and what it wants? Uh, I'm going to say... Now take this as a suggestion, but if you want to live forever, you probably should go in the person with the machine body. This this thing of mine, I mean, it's gonna crap out in a couple years. Give me a persuasion manipulation roll. Sweet, that's what I was going for. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna roll a willpower. I'm not gonna risk. I'm just gonna roll. Good roll. Yay. Yeah, buddy. That was five successes. It's a exceptional success. Exceptional? Yeah. Wow. BD. The goo stops, and it's almost like you shoved your hand into a, your arm into a deep fryer, and you're just letting it sit there. Mm. And then it starts pulling back. It's much bigger now. It's almost like it's eaten. It's definitely eaten your arm. Mm -hmm. And it swings itself upward to meet your eyes. Still hanging out of Philip's mouth. It looks at you as two eyes form and a mouth. The eyes do not match and the mouth doesn't either. And it says, Hey, you gonna wake up anytime soon? Oh, no. I don't get it. 
Just, just... You hear, and that's when you start hearing a loud, blaring noise, Singer. And you feel something nudging you on the shoulder. Hey. Hey. Singer. Hey. Hello. I look at my shoulder. And that's when you open your eyes. Hey, you fell asleep. And you're greeted with James Wolfe. He's, uh, you are on a pretty nice chair inside the Winger mansion. You've sat down. You were just going to get 20 minutes of sleep. It wasn't going to be a big deal. And you can see that the sun is starting to set. And, uh, Wolf is kind of hunched over in front of you, nudging your shoulder. Hey. You fell asleep. Sorry, um, sorry, I'm, uh... And I... I look around uh, as though looking for a sign that this is real, or as if, as if you could know just from looking. As you look around, uh, what is everyone doing? You're wrapping the first day of shoot here at the Winger Mansion. Uh, I think uh, I'd be trying to get somebody to teach me how to play Uno. <laughs> JD's currently behind the chair getting ready to scare Singer. <laughs> Um, I am spinning around the foyer saying, I love this house. Vic uh, is trying his best to beat Wolf's previous high score on some mobile game. <laughs> Nobody. Is, is that, uh, what? Wolf, uh, Wolf gets you to smile, singer. <laughs> yeah, you must have had a hell of a dream. You were talking and all sorts of weird shit. She anyway, come on, wrap it up. Put your hand on his on his wrist really tight and goes, what did I say? Uh I don't know, something about how I don't care if you're my mom, I'm gonna kill ya, and something about a medicine man, mechanical man, I wasn't really listening. I was Hey, you just lucked out. No one questions why someone's asleep on a set like this. Come on, it's gotta start snowing soon. We should get out of here. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we should. We should go. Can I get a shot of me brooding at the snow real quick, though? And that is where we're going to wrap <laughs> <laughs> on a very uncanny Christmas. Yay! Merry Christmas, everybody. Happy holidays, Happy holidays Happy everyone. Holidays. Thank you so much for listening. Happy and uh, before we wrap and everything, if if I can get a little sappy for a moment. Aww, yeah. please. Bitch. Aww. <laughs> Fuck off. I'm incredibly grateful that I get to do this with you guys. Oh. It means a lot. It's something I look forward to every week. And it means the world to me that uh, even though you guys, you know, Buckle and Deanna, you moved uh, out of Los Angeles, and Garrett, you know, we, we're not in college anymore, and, you know, John, Michael, you're both, you are all basically on the other side of the country as far as I'm concerned, and we still can do this every week, and yeah. that means a lot to me, and I love you guys. Oh, so. we love we you love too. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Oh, my fucking heart. It's oh. melting. My dokey dokey just got bro bro. <laughs> okay, fuck off. <laughs> no, it didn't Come on, that was that was that was very genuine. That, that, was, that, really was, that was thank you. Thank you so All much. Right. Thanks, happy brother. holidays, everybody. Yeah, happy holidays. Yeah, happy hol yes, from everyone here at Uncanny Valley, happy holidays. Yeah. Now get yeah. out of my house. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Uncanny Valley Cancer Cell is created and produced by Buckle Nagel and Stephen Pope. The players are Garrett Schmigel as Vic, Deanna Venable as Darla, Michael Morris as JD, Stephen Pope as James Wolfe, and John Tompkins as Mason, with Buckle Nagel running the game. 
Hunter the Vigil 2nd Edition is produced and published by Onyx Path Publishing. Find us online at Uncanny Show on Twitter and www.uncannyvalleyshow.com. Make sure you check out Wild Cards, Experient Pointers, and other Saving Throw Show productions on the Saving Throw Network. And hey, have a good night.